around the corner. So we are getting you moving on this Monday morning with some advice as you prepare to stay in shape and healthy this holiday season. Joining us this morning is Lifetime Fitness personal trainer Brian Teets. And you're from the Lifetime downtown, which is newly yeah. renovated. I know it looks absolutely fabulous. So awesome. You've got some workout ideas for people that are kind of in a hurry this morning. Right. Yeah, it's hard, you know, holiday season's every year, but everybody's busy and it's crazy schedule. So the goal is to try to get fast workouts in, 20, 30 minutes if you can. Uh, usually a hit interval training type methodology, uh, three exercises, get your heart rate up really fast, really quick, and then you move on to the next thing. So you don't have to waste a lot of time. And I think sometimes people think of working out as something that's gonna take you longer than an hour, but interval right. training can really be a great way to get in that high intensity training yep. that your body really needs. Yep, get the heart rate up really quick, let it drop back down. You actually burn more fat after the workout's completed. Uh, better results, better better speed as far as getting everything done. So what are you doing for us this morning? So with interval training, easy thing is to pick three different exercises. Uh, do it in a circuit format, uh, two or three times as, as, a, as a whole. Uh, first one, basic thing, weights at home. You could do a basic squat press. So squat press straight up, right? From that position, you go do about 10, 15 repetitions of that. Come down to a lunge, curl, back up from there. And you're doing lower body and upper, upper body, body. Mm -hmm. And then you can go into rowing exercises for backs. So you do about three to four sets of those, bang them out one after another. Like three sets of 10? Yeah, or 10 to 15 repetitions. The goal is to get that heart rate up after each one of those. And then as you rest on that rest phase, you got about a 30 second to a minute rest and then do it all over again. And as people age, how important is weight training, especially for bone density? Yeah, it's huge. You have to have resistance training. If you don't have enough resistance training, your muscles aren't gonna get strong enough. You're not gonna burn the fat that you want to got to have resistance training and for people that are kind of like to indulge over the holiday season mm -hmm. how can weight training be a good balance instead of cardio yeah so again with cardio typically you have to spend more time right mm -hmm. it takes a little bit longer to do it uh, 30 45 minutes whereas resistance training you can get it done in 20 minutes uh, with just as many benefits to it as well in terms of healthy eating this holiday season any advice for people that want to maybe try everything at the table but also want to make sure they're not overindulging. Right, so when you go to parties, a lot of times they have food out and you start to snack a little bit. Uh, have a little bit of that, that's okay. But then when you're ready to eat, fill your plate up with the, the vegetables, uh, the, the protein, and then you have a little bit of room left for the carbohydrate type stuff. Uh, and again, make sure your plates aren't the nice big platter size that sometimes you have. Smaller it. <laughs> plates. Smaller plates helps, definitely. Yes. Well, Brian, thank you so much for yes, joining thank us you. this morning and we'll see you back in our six o'clock hour. So did you hear that, guys? Allie? Thank you, Jason. We all know it's hard to stick to our health routine this time of year, especially with all the food temptations and even the chillier temperatures, and it can be tough to motivate yourself. But Brian Teets is here from Lifetime Fitness, your personal trainer, yeah. and you guys are big on not just New Year's resolutions. You call it something different, a commitment, because yep. people have a tough time sticking to those New Year's resolutions. Absolutely. It's it's really about a healthy living a healthy way of life. That's the, the our, our philosophy. It's about making a commitment to that. So uh, we have an event, Commitment Day, that is to kick that off. Uh, January 1st, it gives you an opportunity to start on the right right foot on the beginning of the new year. Is it a good idea maybe even to start a little bit earlier, especially before you're indulging in all those holiday yeah. treats? Absolutely. It, you know, it's, again, the holidays come every year, so you can plan ahead, uh, make sure you get your workouts in, uh, live that healthy lifestyle. Those Start now. It, it makes it easier. For people that are looking ahead into 2016 and are trying to change their fitness mm -hmm. level, what are some easy attainable goals that they can make? You know, I think that the easiest thing is to start start with very uh, easy things to get going with as far as getting into the club to work out, even if it's just once or twice a week to begin with. Uh, making s small food changes as far as maybe reducing sugar, uh, may maybe eating late at night, things like that that are, are, are not quite as robust to do, uh, but easy to kind of get started with. And for people that have maybe fallen off the wagon in terms of working out, maybe haven't gone to the gym in a, in a while, what's maybe a good commitment for them to make that are for people that are maybe just getting back into going to the gym? Yeah, uh, find, a, find a professional to help you answer questions questions on what to do. Uh, our, our, our philosophy of our core through core three is really about knowing your body, uh, nourishing your body with the right food choices and so forth, and then moving your body. So those three things are very important to have. So find someone that really understands how to direct you in the right, in the right place and the right things to do. And in terms of making that commitment into 2016, how important is having a partner, making sure you're staying on task, yeah. whether that's a trainer or a friend right. or somebody at work? It's huge. It's 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 more fun. It's more enjoyable. You have uh, people that you can have camaraderie with. So get a group of people to come in. Uh, if you know 
someone that is, is fit and maybe uh, they have an idea on what to do, start with that too. It's, it's, it's the more the merrier. Absolutely. Well, Brian, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah. So